parents hello ladies thanks for tuning in so in this live we're gonna talk about leveling up physically and i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go live later on or maybe it's just gonna be a youtube video but yeah i want to discuss you know how to keep up with your appearance how to look good and all of that because i know it's a challenge for for many women so how are you today i know it's kind of early if you are in the states but yeah because i have to go like in 20 yeah in 20 minutes so i thought that we could go live together i got ready and yeah i have some time before my appointment oh thank you yana what are you guys up to hi mira how are you do you guys do you guys struggle with keeping up with your appearance and by appearance, I, I talk about, you know, the makeup, the haircut, um, also the clothes. Like, I know that in the past, I had a hard time, you know, keeping up with my appearance when it came to the haircut. And it was part of my money wounds because I didn't want to spend. Like, I was like, okay, this is expensive to go to the hairdresser all the time. So sometimes my hair would be damaged and I would not do, I would not do much about it. And yeah. So yeah, I also want you to know that a lot of things that you do or don't do are interconnected and many of the things that you that you do comes from your from your wounds. So when you don't take care of your appearance, it can come it can come from uh, your money wounds. And um yeah, I know that for me it was definitely that and for and it can also be because we become lazy. Or we think that we should not put in effort or we, we feel like, okay, if I put in effort in my appearance, I'm uh, I'm going to be perceived as a shallow person or we tend to judge people who look, you know, put together. We think they are superficial and all of that. But um, that's not the case, okay? Taking care of your appearance is self-love, it's self-care. And when you when you get ready and you look good, you love what you look like and you smile at yourself a little bit more so yeah make sure that you that you work on that so uh, let me read I was so upset i was working with my daughter and just put in sweatpants and the top met a man who looked wealthy and i looked unkept you see that's the reason why i always say that you need to automate looking good like looking good needs to be your day for mode because think about it don't you think that wearing sweatpants and Wearing a nice dress is the same effort because you don't go out naked, right? So that's the same effort, but what needs to happen is a mindset shift. And it's always like that, like we think, okay, I'm just going to do this. No one will see me. And this is, this is how we see, you know, handsome men. And when we look good, we don't see anyone. But you see, if you, if you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay ready all the time so that I don't need to get ready. You're going to look good all the time and you're going you're gonna to run into attractive people anyway. So, yeah, always get ready. I know that for some people, like makeup, hair is fine because they enjoy the process, actually. And for others, it's more about the clothing that they, that they struggle with. So, if it's a, let's say your problem is about the hair and the makeup, um, for hair... If you don't enjoy, you know, doing the treatment and all of that on your own, maybe you can get someone to do it for you. It can be someone who comes to your place or you go to the hair salon. So for me, it was definitely about me being lazy to, first of all, I was lazy to do it myself because I have a lot of hair and also like, I'm not really that knowledgeable about the treatment that my hair needs. So yeah, I, I was lazy about it. And also it was about my money wound. I didn't want to spend someone to to do it for me and as i healed my money wound it got better and now i'm able to to pay someone to do my treatment and my haircut as well and then when it comes to makeup i noticed that i'm okay right with putting on the makeup but what gets me lazy is um is the night the skincare routine that i need to do the night that i did that i need to do at night because i tend to wear a lot of foundation because i try to to, to hide my scars and all of that. And there's one thing that helped me actually is that I, I understood that I used to put too much makeup, like I used to wear too much foundation. So because I was wearing too much foundation, 
like you know cleaning it up took so much time i know that i wear less but i use the i use better tools because in the past i, I would use the um, the blender like the beauty the beauty blender but it wasn't working well it was forcing me to use too much makeup too much foundation at least and now that i use the brush i noticed that the, the application is a lot easier and i don't need to use a lot of product and when i go to sephora to have you know um to ask them to to test to test some foundations on me this is something that i noticed like they always use the brush so i tried it at home and now i can i can have my makeup done nicely without putting too much too much foundation so yeah and it gets me less lazy at night when i have to remove everything because i don't have so much product anymore to remove so this is good but if this is something else for you i want you to develop a system that works for you so that you become less lazy to apply makeup and i know that um the um, what's trending right now especially for gen z it's not wear makeup okay i'm sorry to break it to you but you need to wear makeup when you don't wear makeup you look tired i know that you want to look natural and you you you, you look at models and you know some women on social media who who say yeah this is my my no makeup look and all of that but many of them are, are using filters and right now i'm using one right right now i like my face and all of that but the lighting isn't too great so it's not doing it's not doing me justice so yeah i want to keep it real with you right now i have a filter i have a filter on and all of that but yeah a lot of women on social media are using that but they don't disclose it and and also when they say yeah this is my no makeup look they had botox facials and all of that before that so of course they they're gonna look good okay so if you aren't you know if you don't have botox and you are above 20 years old know that you look tired without makeup okay and and yeah and the um, the people that we find attractive without makeup actually they have a no makeup makeup in the sense where they they work on you know they they made sure that their makeup looked natural but they are wearing makeup okay hi yellow yes oh so you're saying i hope all is well yes i'm doing fine thank you so yeah there is that and when it comes to clothes i want you to leave the house looking bomb okay so it doesn't have to be you know um you're looking like a victoria's secret model every time you you leave the house but i want you to put in effort I know it can be tempting to wear, you know, yoga pants and all of that or or joggers because they look they feel like a pyjama and I understand that you're looking for comfort but I was I was watching a video of Anna Bay yesterday and I love that she mentioned that like a lot of people think in, in extreme, they think okay, um pants, a, a nice top and all of that are restrictive, whereas you know, joggers sweatpants are are comfortable but don't you think that there is like a middle ground it doesn't have to be this extreme between you looking you look between you looking unkept and and you looking feminine you see like i wear normal clothes every day and i don't feel uncomfortable i mean i wear jeans right now i'm wearing a shirt and a pair of jeans and i don't feel uncomfortable so i'm really curious about what kind of clothes do you buy to feel that uncomfortable to the point where you need to to feel like you're wearing a pyjama even when you leave a, even when you leave your house okay i guarantee you wearing sweatpants and wearing clothes that are more um high maintenance are, are is the same effort so so yeah what i want you to do right now is i want you to get rid of all the clothes that you wear and that make you look unkept so it, it doesn't have to be joggers only it can also be you know clothes that you're supposed to donate and you haven't and you haven't yet uh it can be clothes you know with stands on it it can be clothes with um that where the the color where it can be clothes that are already washed off as well okay all of those clothes you need to donate them because they they are they are dead already so when you donate them then they're gonna recycle it or you can you know use them as um as clothes for for cleaning okay this is good for the for the environment as well i want to know for you like what's hard is it um your makeup your hair is it the clothes and also i want to talk obviously about you know your health and fitness because that's true that that's the foundation okay if you have a hot body even when you even when you look you know more low maintenance you're gonna still be attractive but 
most people like for most people that's not the case so yeah you need to make sure that you take care of your body and i know that for the women that i coach and the women who come to me that's not an issue but i still want to to mention that because for men like the body is more important than the face and it sounds crazy for us and this is the reason why like you see so so many women that you find attractive maybe you have you have those friends around you you find them so pretty and all of that but you don't understand why they can't get a date it might be because you know they have a beautiful face but their their body isn't you know um isn't what um most men find attractive like you can find love obviously even if you look different from what the current beauty standard is but when you when you take care of your parents and you are intentional about it like you attract more men okay that's a fact and i'm not body shaming anyone i'm not saying that you have to lose weight but i'm sh but i'm saying that if right now you think that looking looking particular particularly good isn't important or you you are overweight and you know that you are overweight and you don't find yourself particularly attractive then you need to do something about it okay you you either need to love the way your body look or you need to do something about it and by that i don't mean you know starving yourself or anything like that i mean developing healthy habits because right now like before your body changing and and all of that you are relying on your metabolism and many of us did actually and i and i was guilty of that myself like when i was younger i was i was very skinny like it wasn't my intention i was just skinny because that was my genetics and you know my dad is tall my dad is tall and all of that so yeah i was really skinny and then when i turned 22 i believe i gained weight and i wasn't able to eat whatever i wanted anymore so yeah my body changed and all of that and and this is this is when my my health and fitness journey started but yeah i really i really want to let you know that you won't regret taking care of your body you won't regret you know building healthy habits you won't regret seeing your body change through health through health and fitness okay you don't have to look like a fitness model far from it but you can just you know look a little bit better than than today and even for me like even though i'm part of my body and i have been lifting weight and you know watching my diet for i don't know six or eight years now like there there is still some work to do in the sense where i still need to maintain what i do so what i have so it means that i need to go to the gym two to three times a week so yeah you see even the men like even for those who are happy with their body they still need to maintain it and no one can be complacent with their physique nor their health okay so so yeah make sure to discover the the fitness like the 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 form of fitness that works for you maybe you prefer you know group classes maybe you prefer to do it alone maybe you prefer to do it outside you see it doesn't have to be lifting weight but it needs to be something that allows you to yeah to to not put on more weight and also i also want you to know that um what happens in the kitchen is more important than than working out because it's easier for for you to not eat i don't know 400 calories which is like maybe a big mac than to lose like than than to burn 400 calories 400 calories by working out it's a lot more effort to burn 400 calories by working out trust me so this is the reason why you need to educate yourself on how to read food labels um you need to educate yourself on proper nutrition because sometimes you think that you are eating healthy but you are overeating because some of the things that are healthy like avocados um peanut butter and all of that they they are good for for your body and all of that but they're high they're high in calorie so you see when you overeat them you can put on weight you can put on weight okay so yeah make sure that you have um yeah that you that you have healthy food at home because i always say that and this is something that helped me as well but if you have healthy food at home you will eat healthy and i know that many of you um struggle with you know having proper proper food to eat at lunch because you know you work and when you get home you are tired and you are lazy to cook what i would suggest doing is batch cooking so that when you cook you cook for for the next few days so that you can put everything in a in a tupperware and you can bring that to the office you are not supposed to eat junk food every day like my sister is like that 
like um she has like with her work she has a card where she can get um she can get meals outside for free like the her company pays for it so it means that she well you're not supposed to do that obviously but she uses that money to eat junk food and i can tell you that her body changed a lot and you would be surprised by how fast it is to gain weight but how how slow it is to to lose weight okay so so yeah i want you to be more intentional in the way you take care of yourself and with your health and fitness as well without being obsessed about it and without being afraid of calories and all of that of course i go out and yeah i still occasionally eat um junk food but it's not my it's not all i eat okay so yeah um when it comes to to your clothes make sure that what you wear like are clothes that fit your body type because if you wear what fits you you're gonna look completely different i also want you to know that you don't have to to copy all the outfits that you see out there because some of them aren't working and well some of them won't work for for your unique body and also um many of the clothes that you see out there are are trendy trendy pieces and it means that you won't be able to keep them for a long time it's just you know trends especially like if you follow a lot of um a lot of content creators who who do holes on on fast fashion and all of that many of them they're gonna show you trendy trend trendy pieces but it doesn't mean that those clothes are for you are for you to keep for a long time so yeah be careful with that i rather have you you know spend spend more money but buy better and less that's better for your, the environment that's better for that's better for your pocket as well and i know that when this is your first real job and this is the first time you get real money it can be tempted to to buy a lot because it makes you feel rich actually to be able to to buy many many things but as you grow and you heal your relationship with money you feel rich actually by spending less but by spending better and i always mention you know money wounds because that's something that that is part of femininity and that's something that i I had to heal and I'm still he healing from it and I'm sure that there are still some wounds that um that I need to fix but yeah it got better uh compared to what I used to be in the past and of course I'm I'm growing up at the same time so it's normal like it can only get better but yeah I guarantee you that that the less you buy the better you're gonna feel about yourself because now when you buy you're gonna be more intentional and the pieces that you're gonna decide to buy they're gonna be like more precious as well you see and the more you're gonna wear them the more you're gonna love them and it can feel like you might feel untrue right now because you have noticed that you get that you that you are bored of your clothes really fast but it's because you aren't intentional in the way that you buy and it's not part of your strategy like you need to be strategic in the way that you dress you want pieces that go with everything or at least most of the things that you own already you want pieces that fit you perfectly that fit your body well when you have clothes like that i guarantee you that you will care about them you will care about not losing them and you will care about your body not changing all the time and not having your weight fluctuate all the time because if your weight fluctuates i mean of course if you struggle with if you have some hormonal issues, your weight will fluctuate, and that's normal. But if it's because of unhealthy habits, you want to avoid that because having to buy new clothes all the time, it's also time consuming and it's also frustrating. Like to wear some, to want to wear something in the morning and then notice that it's too small now or too big. Okay, so yeah, try to try to maintain your to maintain your weight. And again, that's not body shaming. I'm not saying that um that you're a failure if you put on weight but what i want to say is just like make sure that you develop healthy habits so that you don't have to struggle with your weight and it doesn't occupy space in your mind because i know that um when you when you are insecure in your body you don't believe that some people are secure in their body and that it's possible for you to not be obsessed with your body and not think about your weight all the time but i guarantee you that when you are secure and you and you develop healthy habits it doesn't occupy space in your mind just like you see when you have great health you don't you don't think of illness you see whereas when you 
when you have illness, let's say just when you have a migraine, right? When you have a headache, that's all you can think about, like because the pain is like so present, the, the pain is like so strong. That's all you can think about, and you just want to get rid of it. And you see, when you have great health and the headache is gone, don't think about it at all. You see, that's the same thing for for people who feel good about themselves. Okay. So I I almost need to go now. Ruta says, I love the high self-esteem videos of you. Thank you. And by the way, ladies, before I go, I want to remind you that this week only, I'm going to give away 20% of my sales to charity to help, to help Palestine. And if you donated already, please send me a screenshot of, um, of your donation and I'm going to and I'm going to send you a free module of my course, okay? That's a course that is important to me. And I think that we can all do something because now, like, because now we are all aware. And if you don't know what's happening in Palestine or you think that's not my problem or I don't understand the conflict, I want you to educate yourself at least, okay? Educate yourself. Um, yeah, learn about history. Try to understand what's happening from the um, Israeli side, but also from the Palestinian side, try to yeah make your own research and then, and then yeah you'll be able to take an informed decision. But yeah, if you have donated already, well, I I will gladly send you a free module of my program. Okay, that's a way for me to do something because I remember back when I was at school and we were and we were studying you know the Holocaust. Um, slavery and all of that I was I was thinking how come some people did nothing and all of that but I don't want my kids to say that about me and I want to tell myself that yeah at least I did something and I did what I could at least on the moment what I could and I also want you to know that you aren't powerless and this is something that I understood not too far ago like I had an intern and we were talking and I was telling her about that book I read from um, Chris Voss, Never Speak the Difference. And and I was telling her how that book changed my mind and made me feel powerful. Uh, there is one chapter where, so that book is about negotiation and the, the author used to be, used to work for, for the FBI. And he explained that, yeah, so he, he teaches you, you know, how to negotiate and get what you want and all of that. That's, that's an amazing book and I encourage you to read it. And yeah, at some point he said, yes, some people will read my book and will tell me, yeah, your tips are great, but it might only work when you, ha when you have the upper hand. And he said, think about it. If you are in the Sahara and you are with the prime minister of England, for example, it's true that maybe right now you feel like he's more powerful than you, but think about it. If you are in the middle of the Sahara, and you, you have a water of bottle and, you know, it's hot and all of that. Don't you think that you are the one with the upper end? So you see, it's all about perspective and we are all powerful in our own way. And I was telling, I was telling that to, to my intern and she said, yeah, but even like with politicians, we are, we are powerful because we are the one voting for them. And it changed my perspective again, because back then I would still think that, yeah, maybe when you are, you know, the president and all of that, they, you are more powerful than me, but that's not true because I'm the one voting for you actually. And look at, think about it like during the campaigns, how they beg for, how they beg us to vote for them and all of that. So you see, you are more powerful than you think. And this is something that feminine women understand that they understand that power is about perspective. Okay. Like society makes you believe that the person who has the money is the person who has power, but you have, you have power in, in ways that you don't imagine just because you are aware of the power that you have, you are powerful already. Okay. So I hope that this video opened your eyes about how powerful, how powerful you were. And I, I want to remind you that as the, as the feminine, you don't control, but you influence. So yeah, I want you to work on that and meditate on how you can influence Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. Well, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.